When it comes to horror cinema, one of the subgenres that so often splits opinion is the realm of body horror. When thinking of the greats of the subgenre, films such as The Thing, The Blob, A Razorhead, and pretty much a whole bunch of other David Cronenberg movies all come to mind. Away from the famed heavy hitters of body horror, though, there are those other great pictures that often end up flying under the radar somewhat. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 hidden gem body horror movies. Number 10. Taxidermia While the majority of films featured on this list are played straight and serious, taxidermia has a tongue firmly within its cheek. Comedy isn't something you'd necessarily associate with the world of body horror, but that's exactly what this filmmaker serves up with his 2006 movie. Telling the tale of three generations of male family members, taxidermia largely hangs its hat on the notion of behavioural learning, and how what we see is adapted into what we do. First up, we're introduced to and excuse my pronunciation here, Moro Scovagni, a World War II soldier with unique sexual habits. That is, getting it on with a pig and being able to fire a flame from his dick. Lovely. Moro Scovagni eventually fathers a son, Kalman, who's born with a pig's tail. Rather than a lust for the female form, Kalman has a lust for food and ends up becoming a hefty speed eater. He then eventually has his own son, La Josca, who replaces the urge to stuff his face with the urge to stuff dead bodies, becoming a taxidermist. All three generations here offer up some sort of twisted imagery due to their own particular habits, and the end result is a movie that brilliantly manages to be entertaining and charming, yet totally disgusting at the same time. Number 9. Begotten E. Elias Mahij's Begotten sets its stall out early by having a mysterious robed figure, referred to in the film's credits as God Killing Himself, take a razor and disembowel himself. Having removed some of his own organs, this now dead person has a strange run-in with a character dubbed Mother Earth. Despite the lack of life in God, Mother Earth manages to, um, arouse him and use his sperm to impregnate herself. Ah yes, this is another one of those sentences that I could only have imagined saying before I joined the realms of what culture horror, but here we are. With Mother Earth pregnant, she gives birth to the twisted convulsing son of Earth before then abandoning her offspring. To think all of this is merely the setup work for Begotten, with the meat of the picture following son of Earth as he throws up pieces of organs, gets burned alive, is then resurrected, has to witness the rape and murder of his mother, and then is once again killed. Begotten certainly is something. I don't know what, but it's something. Number 8. Street Trash Street Trash hammers home two points. Firstly, drinking is bad. Secondly, if you are gonna booze it up, be sure to steer clear of the cheap stuff. When a small-time Brooklyn liquor store owner finds a batch of cheap alcohol called Tenafly Viper, he decides the best way to get rid of this booze is to sell it for cheap to the local homeless community. Over 60 years old and way past its best before date, this liquor runs through anyone who drinks it. Like, literally. With the drink's acid-like properties causing it to melt those who sup on the grog. Full of some nicely mushy demises, street trash never takes itself entirely too seriously. After all, it's a film based around booze that melts bones and flesh, and maybe does feel a little of its time, but it's for sure a fun picture that has certain elements of social commentary and satire at play. To its credit, the death sequences and SFX work on display here in Street Trash also hold up remarkably well. 24 years after its initial release. Number 7. Possession 1981's Possession is an absolutely bonkers film. To break things down to the most basic of fashions, the film revolves around Anna and Mark, a disgruntled married couple. Mark is a spy who spends long spells away from home, while Anna has started to descend into madness after suffering a miscarriage. As Possession gets into its second act, Anna is revealed to have been having several affairs. But most disturbingly, she has a second second home where she keeps a bizarre 
tentacled creature who she will happily kill for. To make this even more bizarre, said creature ends up being revealed as a twisted doppelganger of Anna's husband, Mark. In amongst the sheer insanity of the picture, Isabella Gianni puts in one of the all-time great nuts performances. So great is Ajani at playing crazy here, she go on to spend a large chunk of her career typecast in similar such crazed, erratic and intense roles. As for Mark Sam Neill, he just about veers on the right side of jumping the shark with his performance as Mark, with him pulling back at just the right times when he seems about to get a little too over the top with the craziness. Number 6. The Eyes of My Mother like many a sturdy body horror picture, Nicholas Pasha's The Eyes of My Mother is a major head f that will stay with you long after you've finished watching this 2016 effort. The Eyes of My Mother is both a disturbing, chilling movie and somewhat of a poignant emotional film about loneliness. As a child, protagonist Francesca is trained by her surgeon mother how to remove eyeballs from animals. When a passing salesman arrives at their farmhouse door and bludgeons her ma to death, Francesca and her father keep this murderer hostage in their barn for years, with young Cheska taking out his eyeballs and vocal cords and proclaiming him to be her only friend. Skipping ahead to the present day, salesman Charlie is still tied up in the barn, although Francesca's father is now dead. Once our lead character is forced to kill Charlie after he tries to escape, the reality is that Francesca is now all alone. Thus, she is soon on the hunt for a new friend to keep eyeless and chain up in the family barn. Number 5. Tetsuo 2 – Body Hammer most casual moviegoers won't have heard of Tetsuo the Iron Man, and even less people will be aware of Tetsuo 2 Body Hammer. That first Tetsuo picture centers on a businessman who accidentally runs over a metal fetishist. As payback for this, said metal enthusiast gradually transforms his attacker into a twisted part man, part machine hybrid. In Tetsuo 2, our central creation is back in a sequel that, despite ignoring certain parts of the first film, sees him evolving to the point of becoming a living cyberkinetic gun. With his son kidnapped, our Iron Man embarks on a bloody rampage of revenge that only amps up further once he inadvertently kills his offspring when trying to take out one of his kidnappers. Amongst all of this, there's plenty more at play, thanks to a villain aptly and simply named Mad Scientist, doing his best to inject the kidnap gang's members with a serum that will turn them into beings similar to our main protagonist, Taniguchi Tomu. Like Tetsuo the Iron Man, Tetsuo 2 Body Hammer is one of those films that any and all horror hounds should watch at least once. Number 4. American Mary from Jen and Sylvia Soska and starring genre fave Catherine Isabel, American Mary centers on the titular Mary Mason. A medical student with spiraling bills to pay, aspiring surgeon Mary ends up turning her hand to body modification work in order to help ease her financial woes. How does one end up in such a seedy profession? Why all this started after Isabel's character applied for a job at a local strip club. With the club's basement housing a bloodied dying man, Mary skill set sees her talent utilized to patch the fella up in exchange for a cool five grand. While she feels extreme guilt and paranoia after having become involved in this shady underworld, Mary's finances, or lack thereof, outweigh the moral dilemmas that come with such work. Before you know it, our headline act is turning people into human dolls, or making the infamous demon twins of Berlin very much live up to their name. There's a lot more going on in American Mary than just twisted bodies mind, for there's themes of sexual abuse, abuse of power, and absolutely some gory revenge as the picture plays out. Number 3. Excision Adapted from the 2008 short of the same name, Richard Bates Jr.'s Excision pulls plenty from the legendary David Cronenberg when it comes to its more stomach-churning moments. Here, Anna Lynn McCord plays a high school student obsessed with the notion of a career in medicine. There's nothing wrong with having such dreams, of course, but the problem with McCord's Pauline is that she's clearly a little deranged in how she's going about obtaining said dream. As soon as McCord's character starts to have orgasmic dreams of her and others being 
mutilated and massacred in bloody fashion, that's enough to send the alarm bells ringing for audiences. So enamored by blood is Pauline, she even chooses to lose her virginity while on her period, all unbeknownst to Adam, the young lad involved in this act. Still, Adam himself has his issues, for he cheats on his girlfriend by having sex with Pauline in the first place. Where things really take a dark turn is when Pauline learns her cystic fibrosis suffering sister needs a lung transplant. Doing what any totally not sane person would do in this situation, Pauline kidnaps a young neighbor and sets about realizing her medical ambitions by partaking in a hodgepodge surgical procedure to remove the poor neighbor's lungs. Number 2. In My Skin from writer, director, and star Marina Devan, In My Skin is a picture that may leave some feeling a tad queasy upon a first watch. Pulling a little from David Cronenberg's Crash, but turning things up to 11, In My Skin centers on Devan's Esther and the joy she gets from self mutilation. The film starts with Esther deciding to leave a party to take a dimly lit walk across a construction site. After a fall leaves her outfit torn, it's soon revealed how this tumble has also majorly sliced up. Esther's leg. Still, rather than seek medical attention, our headline act decides to carry on partying with her friends, with her even getting a buzz from the injury she sustained. From here, Esther starts to harm herself for the pleasure it brings her, but then takes things to an entirely other level of disturbing when she actually starts to eat parts of her own body. So self-mutilation becomes what can only be described as self-cannibalism. With twisted visuals, In My Skin never shies away from Esther's increasingly gruesome acts, and as such, is a picture only for those with a strong stomach. Number 1. Thanatomorphose for those wondering what the hell thanatomorphos means, a quick online search defines the word as referring to a quote, set of morphological alterations determined by death. Starring Caden Rose as Laura, this is a film that's not for the weak of stomach. For disgruntled nurse Laura, she uses sex as a way to at least feel something in her life, with abusive dickhead Antoine her go-to partner for this. As thanatomorphos plays out though, the more Laura has sex, the more her physical form starts to wilt. For those looking for something meaningful, this one can be viewed as a commentary on Laura's emotional state. For those looking for something gooey and garish, it absolutely ticks those boxes and then some. Throughout Thanatomorphos, horror hounds get to watch Laura's body wilt and decay in a brilliantly detailed yet utterly gnarly way. Seriously, there's body parts falling apart, maggots are running rampant, and the whole process of Laura's transformation is showcased in all of its graphic glory. And that's our list. Let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other hidden gem body horror movies. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more horror good stuff.